In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to make a very nice scatter plot uh, in Microsoft Excel. We'll even include a trend line for you. Okay, let's look at our data. There we go. Okay, here's our data. And before we, we learned how to do the correlation coefficient, which was 0.80 approximately. Okay, first you have to highlight all the data, the X and the Y. Okay, so it's all highlighted. Go to insert. You're going to be inserting a chart. Go to insert. Okay, and you can see all the charts that are available to you. Uh, make sure you click on all charts. So you can see everything. The one you want is called the XY scatter. That's a scatter plot. And it's an X and a Y. Okay, you see it already. Say okay. And right next to it, you can put it on a different page. You've got the scatter the scatter plot. And you can see all your points are here. You should actually count it, make sure you get everything here. But you can see some of the key points. Here's the person that was the one whose um, performance was a one. See the person with a one? Whose high school average was 60. That was the lowest high school average. And look at the person up here with the highest performance of 10. And that's the person with a 97.5 average. See the person with 97.5 and a 10 performance? It's this point. Every point is accounted for. Okay, now you have what's called a scatter plot. And this is a, a researcher looking at this scatter plot would say, hey, this looks like a positive linear trend. Which isn't that surprising when you saw the correlation coefficient of 0.8. Yeah, it's positive. And it's a strong linear trend. Notice? Now, let's say you want to draw a line through this, the best line. We're going to learn about regression lines later in the course. Easy schmeasy. You click on any point. See? Once you have that symbol on each point, it means you get all the points accounted for. Right click. Right click. Right click on your mouse. Remember, right click. Okay. And now, see it says add to trend line? That's what you want, a trend line. The line is going to go through these points. And you want it to be linear and scroll down. You can even have it put in an equation, which you're going to learn about called the regression equation. We don't need that right now. You do want to display the R squared possibly. Here's your R squared value. Okay. So now again, notice, uh, make sure I got everything I want. It's linear. I want a linear line. I want to see the R squared, and you again, some teachers may want to see the equation. Right now, we don't need it. I click up here, and there it is. There you, see, is you see that line going through your points? Actually, one point, is, uh, two points are on the line. Most of the points are off the line. We're going to learn about how the line is drawn mathematically. Okay? But now you have what's called a trend line. That is called the trend line. You have the R squared up there, 0.6408 which you can calculate yourself by taking 0 0.8005 the R and squaring it. You'll learn in regression the R squared measure is very important. It's called the coefficient of determination. Goodbye. <laughs>